Hey, need a better way of sending a message to your staff? Are you tired of repeating yourself over intercom? Well, we at Grandstream have a solution for you. Hi, my name is Nathan. Welcome to another Grandstream Tutorials. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Announcement Center. What is the Announcement Center? Quite simply, it allows you to send a recorded message to a group of selected members. And it's as easy to use as dialing an extension. Now you can use this to alert your staff to check their voicemail, or even on a school where you can have your staff alert security guard of a suspicious person. Say you have an alarm system, we'll make sure everyone gets the alert. This feature is easy to set up and creating a new prompt takes minutes. With that being said, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using a UCM6102 on firmware 1.0.15.16. In order to use this feature, your UCM needs to be at least on firmware 1.0.14.24. To help me demonstrate this UCM feature, I brought my GXP2170 on firmware 1.0.9.60 and GXP 3275 firmware 1.0.3.187. I always recommend that your endpoints are always on the latest firmware. All right, now that we're logged into the PBX, there is something that I want you to do before we even get started with creating pre-recorded prompts or even going into the announcement center. We wanna make sure we have some registered endpoints. Um, and for this example, I, I've already said it in the intro what I'm gonna be using, but I am gonna be using my 2170, which is closest to me to create my uh, recorded prompt. So let's start with that. We're gonna dive right into creating our first prompt. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to PBX settings voice prompt and just to the right of language settings I'm going to click custom prompts as you can see this isn't technically my first prompt I do have more in here I have a fire alarm one an emergency evacuation uh, pre already pre-recorded this is going to help me demonstrate this uh, the announcement center further but I'm going to show you how I record these prompts now there's a couple different ways you can uh, go about recording prompts you don't necessarily need to have an extension registered to the PBX you could however uh, record it on your own software have a professional mic out as long as you match the UCM's uh, preferred uh, file settings for call recordings you can actually import um, files of your choice. Uh, we can even uh, export or import these prompts from different UCMs as long as you're on the appropriate firmware. Um, but with that uh, being said, let's go ahead and start with the normal recording. I'm going to click on record new custom prompt. Let's go ahead and give it a file name. Obviously here I don't have one for check voicemail, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to call this check VM. Format, doesn't matter what it is don't really care at this point. I will, however, make sure that I watch carefully what extension I'm going to be sending this to. So 1000, which is my 2170 right next to me, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on record and it should call me. From here, it's as easy as picking up the phone and just saying what you have to say. All staff, please check your voicemail or clean out any old ones you may have left over. Thank you. From there, um, obviously you can see it's not there yet. We have to make sure we refresh the page of the UCM. Once we do that, we can navigate back to the custom prompt page and we can verify that it is there. So now that we have a recording done, um, obviously you can spend more time recording more prompts and you can do it all from this page before moving to the announcement center, but that's gonna be our next step from here on out. So let's move forward. I'm gonna click on value added features at the very bottom of the page. From there, a second from the bottom, Announcement Center, and here we go. Um, as you can see, I already have some um, Announcement Centers uh, already set up for us. Let me show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to click on Create New Announcement Center. Now, it's as easy as giving it a name. Now, this is going to be my check voicemail example, so I'm going to keep it consistent. Uh, code. Now the code is very important because this is actually what you're going to use to identify this announcement center. I'm going to make it real easy. I'm just going to use 00. This will help me not conflict with any existing extension ranges. 
And from here, this is where I can actually choose what recording prompt uh, that we did in the other section. Uh, obviously, I've already taken up the two, so I'm gonna use check voicemail. Now we could have this ring for 30 seconds, which is the default. You can change that value if you want, or if it's, a, if it's an emergency, like a fire alarm, we can make sure that that auto answers. Uh, but I'm actually okay with it ringing, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit save on that, and boom. I have my check voicemail prompt in there. Um, look at this, I also have something called a group. And this group is also associated with a number. Um, let's go ahead and create a new group because I wanna make sure that maybe only our support group gets this instead of ring all, which is everyone on the PBX. Let's call this group support. And let's give them a number of 10. I think I used 11 and 12 already. I'm gonna import our support group, which, are, which is only our registered endpoints here. Move them from the available to the selected. And once they're in the selected, I know that they're gonna be a part of that group. Just apply changes from here. And there we go. So what you can do now is actually interchange your announcement center codes to your group. So let's say uh, there's a fire on campus. Obviously, I want to make sure everyone gets that. So we're going to make sure that we select ring all. And from here, it's as easy as dialing an extension. So if I want to send a fire alert, I'm going to hit 0211 to ring all. So as you can see there, I will be selecting by dialing 02 the fire announcement, then followed by the group code, I will send that pre-recorded message to that group. Or say support's not checking their voicemail, same thing, check voicemail is zero, zero, and right after that, I'm gonna have it followed by the number one zero or 10, which is the group. And from there, that's Announcement Center in a nutshell. All right, it's live demo time. So we're gonna start off by testing the uh, check voicemail prompt, the one that we did together. And if you remember right, uh, that code for the Announcement Center was 00, and I'm gonna send it to the group 10, which is the 3275 and the 2170. I'm gonna hit pound key to dial. Answer it manually because I didn't enable auto answer for that. All staff, please check your voicemail or clean out any old ones you may have left over. Thank you. Perfect. Now, moving forward, we're gonna to get to the fun stuff where our phones are now gonna auto answer. So if you remember correctly, we're gonna do the emergency uh, evacuation, which was one, I'm sorry, which was zero one, one zero, so go into the same group, hit pound to dial. We should hear an auto answer. Attention, Attention. please evacuate the building. There we go, that's our emergency evacuation, and I also have a fire one in there, and that was code 02, same group, I'm gonna use before, 10, hit dial, it will do the same thing, and auto answer. There is a fire on campus, please leave the building. And there you have it, that's the announcement center, and that's how we use it. We hope this video tutorial helped you understand the announcement center and how to take advantage of this very useful feature. Please feel free to comment below. Let us know if you have any suggestions on any future tutorial videos. Also, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for the latest in video tutorials. My name is Nathan Sharp and you have a good one.